Hi, welcome to our extreme overclocking tutorial. Today we will show you how to prepare uh, your system for extreme overclocking. On this table we prepared some stuff you need for the basic extreme overclocking. Over here you see a Gigabyte um, AM3 mainboard we will use um, with the CPUs we got here. First you have to insulate your mainboard. We will start with liquid tape for electrical insulation. Over here you see Armaflex insulation foam, we will use for the thermal insulation. Here you have a thermocouple, K-type, which you can use with this thermometer to measure the temperature in your pot, which you can see over here. This is the mounting materials we will use to mount the CPU pot on the CPU. And um, here we have the thermal compound we will use later, this is some Gelid Extreme. So, Let's start. Welcome to the second part of our extreme overclocking tutorial. Now we will show you how to insulate your mainboard using liquid tape. Liquid tape is liquid insulation tape. You can easily put on your mainboard or graphics card um, for electrical insulation. You can just put it all over your mainboard if you want with a brush uh, using a thin layer so it dries quick and the best thing about liquid tape is that you can peel it off later when you're done with the, uh, with the extreme overclocking. So we will now um, prepare the whole mainboard around this area with the liquid tape and then we will be back with the Armaflex insulation. Welcome back. Now we will show you how to do the thermal insulation. For the thermal insulation, you can just use uh, some Armorflex insulation foam. The easiest way is uh, to put it on the mainboard uh, to cover the CPU area, you can see here. And then using a normal cutting tool to just cut out the area of uh, the CPU. We already prepared a piece of Armorflex we cut out. Looks like this. Now you can just put it on the mainboard. And the mainboard is ready for the next step. Next step, pot mounting. Now we will show you how to mount the pot on your CPU. First, we take the back plate um, of our CPU pot. Put the threaded rods down there. I recommend to use some armor flex between the back plate and the mainboard. So we will just uh, put the armor flex on the back plate. And put everything together. We take the armor flex piece we cut uh, in the step before and put it as well on top. Make sure you cover all the gaps so you don't have any air left where uh, ice could be later. Now we use some um, Gallet Extreme thermal paste. You can only apply it with a piece of plastic or something, I will just use my finger for it. You only need a very, very thin layer of thermal paste. So, in case you have some water on the mainboard, you can uh, use some 
kitchen paper or uh, toilet paper we put as well on top just in case we have some condensation water anywhere So, last piece of paper towel and the uh, mainboard will be ready to apply the pot. Now we will mount uh, the pot on the mainboard. We will use a Fusion Pot Revision 3. The Fusion Pot Revision 3 has a hole for a thermocouple. Not every pot has it, so in case you don't have you can just tape it um, next to the CPU area. We, we have a CPU hole, so it's easy to use. Put your pot on the mainboard. And we will use some normal tape fix the probe and now we will use a piece of insulation foam Armorflex tube to completely cover the pot take the mounting frame I recommend to use springs and not to tighten them completely. So if you're cooling down your pot and the temperature is dropping, the material is shrinking and therefore you just need to, to have some springs which cover the, uh, the pressure. Now the system is ready to use.